Hi there folks, my name is Jeff Bailey and welcome to the Living by Committed Action YouTube channel. On this channel you're going to find a variety of skills and techniques to help you cope with painful thoughts, feelings, and emotions as they arise. But before we have you jump into those skills, we thought it would be helpful to kind of give you a sense of the principles on which these skills are built. It's quite likely that these principles may be a little bit different than those you've been introduced to in uh, Facebook posts or self-help books that you uh, maybe have read in the past. To really illustrate these principles, and we thought we would take you through uh, just a brief exercise if you're, if you're open to that. Um, to engage in this exercise, it can be helpful to have a book or a piece of paper, a clipboard, just something you can hold in your hands. I'm just gonna use this, this scribbler here to, um, to kind of illustrate this. Once you have a book or something that you can use, then what we want you to do is, we want you to imagine that across the room for you, or maybe kind of, you know, just past the wall that maybe you're looking at behind the screen, are all the things that are important in your life. The people that you love, the activities that bring you meaning, the things that you need to do to have an important, valued, productive life. And I want you to imagine that this book that you're holding in your hands represents all the painful thoughts, feelings, physical sensations that come up throughout the days. Just take a moment now and, and connect with what those thoughts, feelings, and physical sensations are for you and, and just kind of imagine that those things are all encompassed by, by this book. Once you have a sense of that, what I want you to do is kind of look across the room or at the wall that's representing all of those things that are of value to you. Again, those activities and people that are really meaningful to you. And I want you to just take the book and I want you to pull it up until it's touching your nose. This is what we often do throughout our lives when painful thoughts, feelings, and physical sensations come up. We fuse with them, we become one with them. Let me ask you, when you're all caught up in your thoughts and feelings like this, how easy is it for you to engage with those people and activities that are meaningful? If you wanted to hug a loved one or have an important conversation, how well would you be able to do that when you're blocked off by these painful thoughts and feelings? Just notice that, what that's like. And now what I want you to do is I want you to take this book that, that represents these painful thoughts and feelings and really push it away. Push with all of your might. Don't hurt yourself, but really kind of extend your arms and push those thoughts, feelings, and physical sensations away. This is what we tend to do when we try to cope with these emotions. This is distraction. This is alcohol use. This is avoidance. This is trying to get rid of those thoughts and trying to keep them at bay. But let me ask you, how long could you do this? Could you do this all day? Could you maintain this day after day, week after week? Eventually you're gonna get tired, right? And what's going to happen once you get tired? Those thoughts, feelings, and physical sensations come right back here and we're caught up in them again. Now, whether we're doing this or this, we're so caught up in either the thoughts, feelings, emotions themselves, or with avoiding them, that we lose the ability to connect with the things that are really important to us. It takes us away from the relationships that are meaningful. It takes us re away from those activities that give our life purpose and quality. So what these skills are about is not getting rid of these thoughts and feelings, because we can't do that, but instead taking our thoughts and feelings and placing them in our laps allowing them to be there. Now notice, the thoughts, the feelings, the physical sensations haven't gone away, but when they're sitting in my lap this way, it frees my arms up. They may catch my attention every once in a while, but it's a lot easier for me now to engage with my loved ones, to engage with the things that matter. I can connect with those things better. Every once in a while, these painful thoughts and feelings are gonna catch my attention. And I might start to notice myself do this, but then we use these skills to do this again. It's not about getting rid of the emotions. It's not about getting rid of the pain, but it's about making room for it so that we can continue to do what matters to us in spite 
of this painful stuff. Now, it's likely that that's a, a maybe a vastly different idea to managing emotions than you've been introduced to before. But if this sounds like something that you're open to trying, then I think you're on the right channel. I would encourage you um, to practice these skills um, and give them a shot and, uh, you know, be compassionate to yourself. Take your time, try what works and, and experiment a little bit. Uh, yeah, good luck on your journey.